Roy from Tesla Owners US and today I have to bring you the story for how I broke my mirror. As you can see from here as I cracked it just here in the inside and this piece is not replaceable so I was not so lucky as over just to break this piece because that's still full intact. So I tried to glue that and then tape it from the other side as you can see here but it's really that didn't do it so and I had to replace it with a full new mirror assembly and the movie is about that and how we did it and to replace this big piece now this piece is now available someone wants to buy that is as happy with that maybe you can tape over that or you can uh, put some foil over that it's almost not visible but you can buy this <laughs> piece now if this ever is broken, including the chrome piece. Okay, watch that movie. The first thing what you have to do is to little, take a little ply tool and then open that ply tool from here, go inside and then open it up all the way around from here and then you take that cover the painted cover off now you see the assembly I show you also the new assembly I have it already in the car so here switch around Here's a new mirror assembly. So what actually broke is that inner plastic piece here on this side, that inner plastic piece. So that broke. And what you have to do, you have to change the entire assembly. So be careful with your mirrors. I just opened the mirror too early. And it comes with all of the wiring, harnesses, uh, every connection with that and so on. So the first thing what you have to do, and I already did it, it's really not that difficult, is here is the little speaker on the corner there. So that little speaker on the corner, it was inside here. So you have to take another ply tool and ply that upwards you see that is hooked in here and you take that tool and pull it upwards and then you have to remove the speaker connectors yeah so in opposed to the model s there is no inside here for i took the rubber off but there are no screws which is locked down so now the question is find how has it been attached? Okay, let me show you where the torque 30s are. So there was a cover on the door opener and it was this cover. You can ply that cover open. And there is a torque 30 in here, in that hole. There you see it. Then the next one, is just under the other assembly. If you see it here, there's a torque 30 underneath here. Yeah, it's almost not visible. And the last one of the three, in order to remove the door panel, is where behind the reflector. You see that reflector, you apply that open, and then you have it here. Okay, torque 30. All, this, all the same size, so no worry about that, where, what went. So now next thing is to ply the whole door cover off the door. Next one, I took that bolt out, just an M10, 10 millimeter bolt. Then you remove the rubber plugs, one is here. Here, the other one is here on top of that bolt, the other one is here on the side. And then you can 
access actually the other M10 bolt and there is a third one and that is probably underneath of the door. When you remove the robots and watch out for those little pins so that they don't slide, slide out. Those plastic pins here, especially then in the middle, this one. And then you can access the bolt here. Okay, now the door panel. They are pretty tucked in. They are tucked into these spots here. As you see, you can see it from this side as well. And here is the speaker. Okay, then we can access the last screw, which is this one, in order to remove the side mirror. And then from here you can see the door panel from the inside. Here is the emergency opening per <coughs> wire or per steel cable. And then there is the connector for the plug. It's a little bit different as in the Model S. And the easiest thing was really <coughs> to pull that out. To pull the whole assembly completely out. So it's just, you take it on the grip and then take it here in the pocket and then pull it towards you. It's, it's pretty tight in. But then you get it. Okay, now we can get to the last screw and take the mirror assembly off before we have to disconnect these two connectors for the mirror assembly. Let me show that to you exactly. One of them you have to lift up in order to get it out. The other one, the blue one, you have to push down in order to pull it out. And then that wire clamp, you have to disconnect as well. And let me show you that from the original piece. You see that this has been... You have to press that together to get it out. Uh, you might not save that from that piece. So it's here pressing it together and then pull it out. So you have a new one. If you destroy that on the door, it's probably not of a problem because here's a new wire clamp. So I have it off. As you can see, I did not save this one, but I have another idea what I can do with that. So what you can do there, if you break it, then cut it completely off. And then you can take a standard wire clipper as what you use in the yard or wherever and then use this one, pull it through that little hole then tie the wires together again. So you have saved that piece. So now after you took all three screws off then you can take the whole assembly off. So you have to pull it a little bit up and then out. And as you see the wire comes with it, you take the wire out and now you can install the new one. Push the wire harness through, push the wire harness through the hole there and then slide it back in. Okay, next step in reverse, wire harness through attach those three bolts and watch out those bolts is the thread is painted so it's not that, that easy just be careful when you put it that in here's the third bolt there put that back in and then reattach that wire harness in here on the left side and then reconnect it to those two connectors and at the end don't forget to reattach this rubber piece here on the side. This is for the bolt, that hole, and then this sticks in. 
and this sticks in sideways. Good. And now we can attach the entire side cover. So there's one thing what you really have to watch because you kind of have to hook that door panel in from here over there. So when you see that there, there are those hooks. So if you don't line them hook up there, then there is a gap in between and you don't want to have that gap. Now you can see it is on the inside on the door where it was wrong. So that's the correct way to get it all tight up to the window. So when you open the window, it's all snuck in and close. So press the door panel in until you hear a firm snap. And then you can apply the bolts again, which one of them is Oh, difficult to see. Here, under the switch. And one of them is here. And one of them is on the side. Here, where you later have to uh, put the reflector on. And then snap the reflector back in. At the Model S there's a lamp. Here, it's just a reflector. Press that in. And it's the same way here. Under the switch, the door switch. Put this piece on it as well. And that snaps in. And now we have to connect the speaker again, which is on the upper part. And you remember the speaker just slides in and then snaps in. So as you see the speaker gets hooked in here and then it's snapped in here with those two brass covered snaps. So in here and here. So from up down. Okay, last thing. I did some touch-ups for paint because there were some scratches at the edge here and now we can install that cap on the mirror assembly as you can see from here. So basically that's it. Just watch that you have the three screws in as we said before then put the covers on it again and then the last piece is actually as what you can see from here the mirror cover so and that's actually just snapping in on top of it and it snaps in here as you can see from here it snaps on top of it and you're done watch out for your mirrors guys it's gonna be expensive to replace that Say